Hey, this is Kay, and I got a training for you to show you how to use LightShot to change the font size. So if you're confused about or want to know how to change the font size using LightShot, this video is going to show you how to do that. Now, it's not a video that will show you how to change the font style. So it's not going to show you how to change the font style, just to show you how to make the font either bigger or smaller. So this video is going to be dedicated to how to change the font size using LightShot. So I have a picture here, and typically when you're using live shot, light, light shot, you're going to have a picture that you want to capture or something you want to capture. So I just happen to have a picture here, and I'm going to use my light shot to capture it. So I got it. I'm going to select the area right here. So once you have the area, then these buttons will appear. So I'm actually going to drag it up a little more so you can see these buttons appear. And this is how you could um, change the um, information on the image that you have. So, of course, you could, you know, definitely have arrows. Now, I'm going to show you a trick. It's the same concept you're going to use to change the text as well. So, you see, I have this little point dot right here. You can see I made an arrow. But if I scroll on my mouse, I can make the arrow bigger. You can see that circle getting bigger and smaller. So, this is a small arrow. If I want a big arrow, I just open it like that, and it gives me a big arrow. You can see the difference here. So, I'm going to undo that arrow. And you can see, you could do the same thing with the box. You could take the box, and you can see the, the dot getting bigger and smaller right over here. So you could take the box, and you can make it a big box. We're going to do a big box, and put it right there. So you'll notice I have a big box. So it's the same concept with the text as well. You're going to go over here and select the text, the T for text, and we're going to add a text in this box. Or you could add it anywhere you want. Actually, you know what? Let's add it over here. So once you get this box, you see it is a small box. So if you start typing, it's going to be small. You can see that it's small. But if you scroll on your mouse, so what I'm actually doing here, I'm scrolling on the mouse here. Actually, let's do it again. I've got the box. I'm scrolling on the mouse here. I'm going to type the same thing. And if you see, if I scroll on the mouse, it may, makes it bigger. So once I have that crossbar right there, I'm just scrolling the mouse. So you can't see my mouse, so you're probably wondering what I'm doing. So I'm going to go ahead and get a picture of a mouse, a computer mouse. And all I was doing was scrolling on this part right here, going up and down. Um, you know what? I'm going to get a picture of life shot again. And I'm just going to show you here. So all I was doing when I had this circle here, all I was doing was scrolling on this, moving it up and down. And when I move it up and down, you can see the circle get bigger or smaller. So that's all you're doing is just moving this, your, your mouse, that round part on your mouse, to go up and down, and it makes the circle bigger or smaller. Once you have the circle bigger, you can see that it gives you a big um, whatever you want. So if I want a big text, I just get the text. I get the box, I start typing, and if I like that, then that's fine. If I don't, I could make it smaller or bigger. And of course, you know you could change the color of your text. So we could change it to blue, and then, you know, scroll it up and down, or whatever you want. So this video concludes how to change the font size, and actually just the size in period using a light shot. So you could change the size of anything that you're doing. If it gives the options here, you could change the size of them just by scrolling your mouse, scroll, scroll, I guess you call it a scroll thing, up and down, and it makes the circle bigger or smaller, and you're able to just make things bigger or smaller. So hope you enjoyed this video. In the description box, I'm probably going to put the link to the other videos I've made about light shots so you could get a feel for the entire training series of how to use light shots. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.